All right, welcome to our special edition of SMI uh, meeting. Uh, this one is the working group on multi-cluster. And if you haven't yet, please add your name to the attendees list. And um, the last time we had this you know, agreement in principle that we, we wanna look into that, we wanna work into that direction. And we stopped short before we like really got into the, the scoping um, with the main question. Maybe I should uh, add that reference again, just in case you don't know, that's the issue to, to 12. Um, and obviously for the benefit of everyone else out there, we wanna uh, any kind of discussions or, or resolutions um, agreement, we should also document on that, that issue so that everyone who is watching on that issue, not looking at, <laughs> at our Google Docs here, uh, sees where we are. Um, so any any question to what we discussed last time, April 7th, is, is anyone who is who has not been in previous call, any questions where we are with, with this multi-cluster? I'm just catching up with the notes from last meeting. Cool. So if you look at April 7th, you should see um, where we were. So general consensus, yes, we want to do that. Um, and um, today is coping, I think, depending on how, how, how fast or how, how far we get, uh, we might be able to do more. Also, you know, uh, what are the implications in terms of the charter? There might be some housekeeping or whatever to do with the NCF um, regarding the SMI charter. And then how, how we proceed in terms of timeline and what do we need a draft, and probably a, a POC, et cetera. Um, yeah, any. Any questions so far? I think that seems great. Let's let's jump in right away to scoping. What is in scope? That's a really good question. So um, if you look at the issue 212, it uh, offers a number of opportunities or possibilities, options. And um, at least from, from my or with my AWS head on our point of view, it would be really great to uh, support what Nick called heterogeneous workloads, or I just call cross compute. So think of you know you have an, a monolith running on a virtual machine, you have some functions, you have some managed or not so managed communities, and ideally in an ideal world we would be able to mesh across these different um, compute environments. That's at least uh, our point of view. Um, yeah, thoughts. Uh, do other people have other um, like I would specifically be interested in if anyone says like, no, we should, you know, focus only on communities in mind. We shouldn't, you know, address anything outside of communities. That is, I think the, the gist, the, the, the core of this discussion. I'm definitely in favor of like being, having, having it be sort of extensible to non community environments, because I think that's also like the use case I'm coming from. Um, so that's my personal interest there. I definitely agree with uh, Asra. Uh, in fact, uh, I think it was about a year ago, I opened up a kind of a proposal PR against SMI and uh, Thomas Rampelberg uh, and I kept going back and forth discussing various options to bring in heterogeneous payloads. Super interested in that uh, as well. Can you share that? That sounds awesome. I am not aware of it. I have to. Yeah, let me pull it up. I've been uh, thinking about it. It's uh, now a closed PR authored by another version of me. It's actually PR is 67, June 10th, 2020. And I will share it in a second. Now, whether PR is the right form to um, have this kind of a discussion is a separate story, but it kind of has a, a few proposals, myself, Lockheed, Thomas Rampelberg, uh, kind of discussing it, going back and forth on various options. Uh, there's some context there. Well, that's awesome. Thank you very much. That's mm -hmm. uh, super helpful. And I think, yeah, the, the, the right way to go about it is, I think, first to have that discussion in terms of scoping and everything. Otherwise, it's a little bit like, <laughs> here's a PR, you know, please merge, by. <laughs> That's maybe not the way how we want to build. Yeah, and to be clear, the PR is uh, just kind of a demo, kind of a thought around right. changes of existing uh, YAML shapes. So, cool. 
appreciate it. Any other inputs, statements, positions, thoughts? The scoping issue. And it's interesting, I should comment, because uh, we're talking about multi-cluster and it almost sounds like heterogeneous payloads uh, is slightly orthogonal. And I know we talked about that last time, but then if you think really deeply, well, multi-cluster perhaps on the one end of the spectrum, it seems like heterogeneous payload is something very different than multi-cluster. Uh, yet, uh, it might be the exact same thing. So I wonder how folks think about that. Are they the same thing? Are they different? I think they're different. Right. Mostly just because I just want to, I want to, want to mess with, mess with you. Um, Contrarian, I, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. That's how we arrive at truth. Let's make it. Uh, yeah, that's right. Let's make it interesting. Um, I think what you articulated was, um, was from my perspective, probably spot on that like, hey, yeah, depending upon the angle from which you look at this, like mm, that's a, an, or, an orthogonal, but slightly related problem. If you kind of look at it from another angle, it's like, well, we could probably, you know, two birds with one stone kind of a thing. And like that, it certainly makes it until it's proven that you're going to have to pick up two stones. Maybe we should just pick up one and see if, um, if that works. So, yeah. I like it. I hope the stone doesn't become too complex. <laughs> I also, think, I also think the same, right? It's, it's different use cases, likely. Um, speaking of, if I may, um, Sergio, does, uh, refresh my memory, does, does Hamlet account for, so clearly accounts for multi-cluster, um, sort of service catalog exchange, um, but heterogeneous workloads? is that that's accounted for as well in this spec yeah and, and that's and that is maybe the reason why hamlet is more appropriate for multi for heterogeneous workloads rather than for homogeneous workloads right it's because in, in hamlet the goal was to abstract as much as possible right in order to be able to do heterogeneous workloads uh, but uh, when we go one level down right if we double click let's say we have two platforms we double click on one of them for that platform is going to be homogeneous workloads, right? So behind that platform, we may have multiple clusters or single clusters or not even clusters, right? Depending on what the platform is. And um, for homogeneous platforms, you may want to um, interchange richer data, right? Because uh, it is a, maybe it is a proprietary platform and uh, you may want to, you know, do more things than the ones you would do with Hamlet. So I think that objectives may be different. That doesn't mean that Hamlet cannot do multi-clustering as well, right? So we have used that internally um, in VMware to do some POC with multi-cluster. And the conclusion we reached is that uh, for multi-cluster, you may want to um, expose richer endpoints. So you may end up overloading the Hamlet object with uh, a lot of proprietary data, data as metadata in the protocol, which is still you can do, right? Uh, but maybe that's an indication that uh, different kind of object uh, is more appropriate. Cool, Thank, thanks for that clarification. That helps a lot. Um, I just realized that I, I failed to ask new people. So if you're first time on this call or in this working group, please feel free to introduce yourself. Um, I at least don't recognize every name and or face. So you don't have to, but if, if you want to, um, first time, if, if you're the first time around, please, please do. Sure, I'll go first. Um, my name is Johnson. I uh, just joined the um, Microsoft Open Service team about two, three weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think, and um, still learning stuff and, you know, um, you know, uh, when I decided to be more proactive in the uh, SMI project. It's a very noble uh, project, noble goals, trying to unite all of the capabilities of various service meshes to have a um, standard spec. You know, it's very noble and nice. So, yeah, I'm still learning and, you know, hopefully I get to contribute in the future. Awesome. Welcome. 
It's great to know. Thanks. Uh, you are on mute if you're speaking. Um, you're still on mute. At least I can't hear you. Yeah, we, we can't hear you, Alan. But um, I am uh, interested, though, um, Michael, because uh, you put a few other notes about where we take this discussion while Alan sorts right. out his audio. Uh, and I'm curious what you mean by changed in the charter. I just looked at like the repo for the spec and it says right. specification for service meshes that run on Kubernetes. It doesn't say exclusively. So if we okay, need if, to hedge that, we could just even, say even better. service meshes, <laughs> including service meshes that run on Kubernetes. I, I feel like we haven't, it is definitely, Lee, you're right. That's, it was definitely implied, that's great. but like- That's great. I, I'm I can't not, remember who I'm not brought it up. I'm not super concerned about I, feeling limited it, by what's written better. in that it already was sort of a- Awesome. I think I, I, I can't remember who brought it up, but I think it was last time where someone said, like, oh, we need to look at if our charter actually allows us to do it. And if everyone agrees, fine. I just want to avoid the situation where, you know, at some point in time on TSC level or whatever, someone says like, whoa, what, what are you folks doing? Like, you're not charted to do that, right? So to make sure that we do the homework. If everyone is on the same page saying like, yep, we're absolutely charted to do it, fine. We can cross that off. We can say, yep. The, the word, you know, as my says, yeah, we 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 all agree on that we're allowed to do that, uh, just to to you know make sure that we um, we are in, in chartered water, so to speak. Lee, you're unmuting. What are your thoughts there? Yeah, a couple of um, very positive thoughts actually. Um, that uh, one, I, when I had asked, so it was um, Brendan Burns that I'd asked this of a time or two, um, when you know a year and a half ago when SMI had come around and and. Uh, I was dismayed by the answer at the time, which was like an exclusive focus to um, Kubernetes. And that's why I'm on this call, because I'm because this is because I'm a proponent of this discussion. And um, and then I think the other good news to, to this is that uh, well, one I would. Uh, from my vantage point, I would say that it's that approval from the TOC is not required. And if there's any amount of formality to be done in this regard, that um, that there's a, a level, there's a step before the TOC, which is um, SIG network within the CNCF, CNCF SIG network, um, that this is a forum in which this could be presented and then some amount of rubber stamping can happen. And since I, I chair that um, working or that SIG, um, that's also helpful. I mean, not that it wouldn't be if I would um, abstractly and things, but uh, in general, in general, the, <clears throat> the answer here is um, that unless there was something really, unless it was like to, to not work with Kubernetes, like if that was the change of the charter, um, it would be, I think the, the sentiment of a few different TOC members would be more like, well, I'm not sure why you're asking it to us this. Like that's more, that's the, ter the, the turf of the project. And so. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for that clarification. That, that helps definitely. And um, I don't know, unless you, you feel like we, we should kind of like escalate that or whatever. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with saying like, okay, the, the SMI, uh, you know, members say yes. We we uh, this is the way we, how we we interpret the, the charter, and we are perfectly fine with as long as we continue to support Kubernetes. Obviously, that, that to me that goes without saying. I, I think no one, no one suggests to drop that part. It's just really are we beyond that also allowed to to uh, cover other compute environments or whatever? And um, it sounds to me that. Michael, I would I would suggest we have a mechanism for this in that if you wanted to just put a, an, you know, a PR or um, or I could make a PR that just changes the language instead of service meshes that run on Kubernetes saying service meshes, including those that run on Kubernetes. And then we could get Good. an LGTM from everyone who cares. That sounds awesome. Let's please do that. And, uh, and also if, if, uh, I don't know, Lee, if you find it necessary to kind of like surface that towards uh, TOC or like, you know, FYI or whatever. Uh, otherwise, we can just, you know, have that PR and, and see if, if anyone, you know, says, hey, here, major objection. Um, sounds good to me. Let's do that. 
questions. Yeah, um, I think that it is that surfacing it within SIG network and to the extent that the TOC liaisons that focus on SIG network, um, that it's like to Brid Bridget has like a fair point, which is like, well, technically, technically the language didn't, you know, it doesn't say that it won't work on Mars either. So like, what, you know, what's going on? <laughs> like, why do we, why is this an issue? And, Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Um, but I think that um, do, doing so, or briefly doing so, like the, actually there's, there's two benefits. There's one that might be somewhat tangible and it is um, awareness and solicitation of interest from others. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Doesn't cost us anything and it you know, shows the goodwill that we are not, we're not trying to hide anything, right? It's not that we're trying to do something in, in secret, but, but you're spot on, Richard. We have a, a process for that and that is a PR. And if we kick that off, uh, it would be very clear if there is someone objecting to it or everyone in agreement. Yes, let's do that. Cool. Um, then we have another 12 minutes, if, given that we have figured out that part. Um, again, let's try. Eln, are you, did you sort out your, your audio issue? Are you able to introduce yourself now? Alan, are you able to unmute and say hello? Uh, yes. Can I try that? Yes, now we can hear you. Uh, yeah, I just dropped a message in the chat. Uh, I was going to skip. Um, I'm a new member as uh, just like Johnson, just joined uh, the Open Service Mesh team. Mm, yeah, so because I'm a little bit interested in the multi cluster uh, vertical, so that's why I'm first time joining the uh, this meeting. Say hi to everyone. Welcome as well. Thank you. Anyone else on the call who is new? No. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um, my name is Sanya. I'm also on the Open Service Mesh team. Um, I've been here for a bit longer, but hadn't made it out to an SMI community call yet. So just wanted to come on here and see what's going on in the community and say hello. That's awesome. That's implicitly almost answering the next question. Who's going to do the POC for it, right? K kind of, like, just kidding. Um, awesome. Anyone else who is new? OK, cool. All right. Um, well, then let's move on to the to the, to the next steps in terms of uh, timeline, in terms of um, uh, I initially had this in mind where we, if we have a draft of that and then we have a POC kind of like trying trying to see how that feels if we implement it or when we implement it. Um, and then obviously the, the overall timeline, right? Is that something that we want to do within the next couple of weeks? Is that by end of year? Like, where are we? Which obviously has to do with, you know, who, who is volunteering their time to, um, you know, for different parts for the, the drafting, the, the, the stuff, the POC, et cetera. Um, yeah, any, any ideas, any volunteers, any suggestions, anything in that direction? Next steps. I'm very happy to work on a POC, uh, but I'm also very happy to not work alone, but perhaps collaborate with someone uh, from the community. Uh, I have been thinking about multi-cluster, obviously, uh, for a long time. Uh, so one, I wonder if there's a second person that can collaborate on that. So just to be clear, so that's great to hear. And just to be clear, I, I would not necessarily jump directly into, into a PR, but I would say like, you know, really in the, the way it is kind of common that, you know, you have a design document where you talk about, you know, this is this is the actual scope. This is what we're trying to achieve. Here are some you know examples of these environments. Um, and then actually fleshing out a, a design document, right? That, that is roughly what, at least what I had in mind. And again, this is just a suggestion. I'm not, not saying that, that matches the only of, way to go about. That matches kind of my, my thinking as well. Uh, in, in the open service mesh repo, uh, we have one uh, issue which says, uh, start a design doc around what multi-cluster may look like. Uh, and so I would love to kind of uh, leverage that and open it up just broader. And, and then think about what uh, Sergio said uh, what we've been discussing here, kind of, right. yeah. And I think I'd, that, be happy, so, I'd be happy to work with that as well. If you know, awesome. if you think awesome. it, it adds awesome. value. <laughs> I think, oh, absolutely, absolutely. I think having having at least two or three people, like it would be great to have 
a smaller set of people who actually own that, right? If like 10 people say like, oh, we love to work on it, but like <laughs> no one is responsible. But having like two or three people, maybe two is, is, is the, the right number, to own that design document to say like, this is what we suggest. And everyone else on the call, wider SMI community, obviously putting in requirements saying like, you know, uh, here we want to be able to do whatever it is you want to do, whatever in your environment is. Maybe it's something we haven't been thinking about, right? But it might be some Raspberry Pi cost or whatever. I, I don't know, right? And to answer Pritchett's question, I'm more than happy to um, provide feedback, to review and provide feedback. So uh, it's great to see uh, Dylan and, and search you to, to um, co-own that. And again, this is not like if, if someone else wants to um, you know, chime in and say, yeah, I'm happy to, uh, for example, there might be some uh, work around compliance, right? For example, just say, uh, or, or test cases or whatever, right? So there, there's plenty of work to be done, um, but having having two people to volunteer to say, yep, uh, we, we want to uh, lead this, this design document, that's already super awesome. That's much more than I, I was hoping for today, <laughs> to be honest, that's great. And yeah, um, I'll I'm potentially interested in contributing to the design doc too. Um, less likely to focus on like early like proof of concept code writing stuff, but like design doc certainly that's like within what I'm anticipating like working on for from council's perspective anyway. And like that's awesome. kind of like the stage of the project that we're at of looking at more of like a longer term something by end of year proof of concept. Uh, kind of timeline, but right. yeah, right. It, it, happy to help like scope out the problem early on for sure. Yeah, I mean, the natural place would, I guess, be uh, KubeCon North America. If we set ourselves the goal that we can present the POC or whatever, or how far we get there, then we have something that we can work towards. We can say, okay, you know, we know this is X months and, you know, how long will we spend on, on the design? How long, you know, maybe even already in parallel started the POC um, and, and potentially different other folks who are not on that call today uh, say like, oh yeah, if there's a design document, I'm happy to, you know, um, do a test implementation against that or POC against that. Cool. Uh, we have some six minutes left. So any comments, anyone else volunteering with something? Um, any thoughts? Before we it it sounds like by this working group meeting um, that happens again in two weeks, we'll have a regular community meeting next week. It sounds like by two weeks from now, it would be nice if uh, during that meeting, um, Sergio and Delian want to give us an overview of what they've uh, started sketching out so far. Yeah. That would be kind of cool. So, That's an agenda item for two weeks from now. That sounds awesome. Uh, you know, uh, another like, another agenda item that Michelle had wanted to chat about, but we've run out of time in this meeting, but it would be good to start thinking about it for yeah. two weeks from now is identity. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we should we should clearly state, I, I don't have a, a strong opinion on it, but we should clearly state uh, in the design document, is that in scope or not, right? Saying like, okay, do we want to tackle that? Do we um, want to make sure that it's compatible or working with other uh, already existing approaches. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that we can resolve it within five minutes, but being able in the design document to say, yes, we're going to tackle that, or you know, here's what we think about it or not, that would be super helpful. And uh, I mean, now you have two weeks time for, you know, some, I mean, 20 pages would be enough. That's perfectly fine, right? Don't, don't, do, don't overdo it, right? Yes, before. professor. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> having, having, I think having a, a a kind of like at least some draft outline to see, you know, what what goes in there would be super useful depending on what time you can afford for the next two weeks. Um, but Is yeah, it okay. If it, I start the doc, Sergio, or do you um, do you have yeah, another please. preference, Mike? Can I start the use, doc and share use, with you too? Use the Slack channel. Um, that it's transparent. Just assume that not everyone uh, who is interested in is necessary on that call or will see the recording. So use the Slack channel, use the mailing list saying like, here's what we intend to do. Here's where you should look, et cetera, et cetera. So that everyone asynchronously has a chance to catch up and contribute. Mm, I, I think I think there is another important point <clears throat> that is, uh, and then we can already see that in the, in the latest uh, issue that we opened, that was the, the way we kicked off this conversation at this, um, which are the use cases we try to accomplish, right? Because uh, there are different um, 
people from different companies with different opinions, different yes. backgrounds, right? And I'm sure, you know, because of, you know, different company strategy and all these different things, there are going to be different um, ideas, right? So if we can consolidate all that between all of us and uh, enumerate, list, briefly describe in a best case scenario, which are the use cases and uh, differentiate between them. I mean, I'm not saying that we should have this in two weeks time, right? Because that is gonna require discussion as well. But uh, I think that's maybe um, some direction we can take before we dig any deeper into any of these use cases. Absolutely, that's, that's a great call. And I think if you have that as part of that design document where we then uh, kind of have a call for, for action to the wider as my community saying like, hey, you know, uh, we, we want your input there, you know, either directly write into that Google Docs or let us know and then we can flesh it out. But that's absolutely spot on, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and get your rubber stamp from, from the- Do you want to uh, help with that, Lee? <laughs> collection of rubber stamps in all colors. <laughs> All right, we have two minutes left. Any any parting words? So thanks a lot for, for that super discussion. It was really very, very productive. I, as I said, I didn't expect that we had to get that far. Uh, thanks a lot, uh, both Dylan and Sergio for leading that and, and Mike for offering your, your help there. Um, any any other comments, anything from anyone who hasn't spoken up during, during the call? Did we miss anything? I'm sure we missed it. Anything you want to add? Samia, Asra. Snia, Elm, Kalia, yeah. Cool, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time and for all, all the feedback and input. That's, that was really productive. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. I'm looking regular forward to meeting, Regular thank meeting you. next week. I'll See you next week. week. Bye now. Bye.